Hey guys, what is up? I'm here to play some MLB 2K12 Take Back series with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Should be fun, should be awesome, and I'm doing this because I don't have a PS4 and there's no baseball game on the Xbox One. So I really want to play a baseball game this year. I really, really wanted to do a series. So here we go. They All right, guys. About to start the first game of spring training. So we're facing the Dodgers in this one. Should be an interesting game. Chad Billings leave up, for, uh, up on the plate for them, or up to the mound for them. What am I saying? And Ian Kennedy on the mound for us, March 31st, 2012. Partly, qu partly cloudy, 8,000 in attendance at the D-backs home field. So the D-backs are at home today, and Dodgers looking pretty good. But we're looking pretty good too. This could be a pretty good game. No one's looking awesome. Most people have like five homers for the Dodgers at least. And Hanley Ramirez is up to the plate first for the Dodgers. See what we can do. And first pitch of the game. Hanley Ramirez flies out to Jason Kubel. In deep left field, actually. Pretty deep left field. And Andre Ethier is up with two outs. And, ooh. That should have been single. I messed up. It's a triple now. That really sucks, but it, it was two outs on top of the first. And Andre Ethier gets on third with an, a triple on an error. All right, Matt Kemp's up. Let's just strike him out. Still two outs on top of the first. And he grounds out to Ellie Bloomquist. It hit red, but it was a good throw, thank God. Minute 30. Uh, I, I was just I was looking at the video numbers. Uh, it was like it's a minute 45 into the video, and Chris Young is fighting up at the plate. He's he's our he's our leadoff hitter for this game, and uh, the next the next game is actually going to be a live commentary, so that's going to be really cool. And they, yeah, and I'm just gonna if I like live commentaries, I'll do live commentaries. If I don't, I won't. But. This is looking good. We have Justin Upton to the plate. He's my favorite player. And he swings late swing on a 93 mile an hour fastball. Bottom of the first, two outs. So it, this was an out after Chris Young. And he gets a cutter up and he hits it hard for a double. And he cut it off. If that went to the wall, that would have probably been a triple because Justin Upton's speed is pretty good. And we have a guy on second with two outs in the bottom of the first. First opportunity here with two outs to put up the run on this inning following his double. Now we've got a moment to look at how the Dodgers are going to shape up defensively. And how do you like All right, Miguel Montero is up to the plate. Looking like he's on a hot streak right now. 92 contacts, pretty good for him. And the curveball in the dirt. I was already going to Justin Upton, so he makes it to third very easily. Would you count that as a steal? I don't really know. But I will in my book. He came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed on him. All right, let's see if Miguel Montero can hit him in for the first run of the ball game. And he gets a slider on the inside part of the plate, and he hits it hard. He almost gets thrown out at first base from right field. That's embarrassing. So embarrassing of Miguel Montero. He almost made this play. Well, quick release and a strong arm, but the base runner realized he had to run hard all the way, and he beats it out. All right, Ian Kennedy. Trying to get his first strikeout of the game. And he gets it right on the inside bottom left corner of the plate. The two-seam fastball right there. Makes the batter swing and miss. Willie Bloomquist is up to the plate in the bottom of the second with two outs. See if he can get on base. If he can, it's okay. But if he can, that'd be awesome. He fouled the first one off almost right down the line for a single. But no. Gets a cutter low, and he hits it right up the middle for an easy single. So he does get his hit. Well-deserved hit. All right, Ian Kennedy's up to the plate. 
Bottom of the second. Still two outs. Willie's on first. He's looking like he's ready to steal. He's way off the back. And he's gone. It was a fastball. But can Willie beat it? He beats it by barely anything. But he still gets the stolen base. He was way off the bag for that lead. Umpire calls him safe. And we have a guy on second now. Two outs. See if Kennedy can get anything. He hits the ball foul. It's all good. Good context for our pitcher. And see if he can bring home Willie. And he strikes out with a fastball. 92 mile an hour fastball on the outside part of the plate. Matt Kemp's up on top of the fourth with one out. Let's see what he can do. And Willie Bloomquist makes a nice play. He was just with Kennedy and he just helped Kennedy out as well. Willie made a really nice play. Miguel's up. Miguel Montero's up bottom of the fourth. Zero outs. He still has that 92 contact. He gets a four-seam fastball right up the middle. And he hits it right up the middle, but it was right in the middle of the strike zone. Right down the pipe. Jason Kubel up to the plate. He has had a monster spring training. Monster, monster spring training. Two-seam fastball right in the middle of the plate, and he fouls it off. How do you foul those off? So we have Miguel Montero on first. Steve, Jason can move him up. Andy, Jason Kubel gets a single into left field and Miguel Montero almost gets thrown out of second base that's how slow this guy is Ryan Wheeler gets he hits one right at the middle but Miguel Montero dived back oh my gosh he just got thrown out from center field to third base center I get if it's left but center field you just get thrown out from center field that's embarrassing Willie Bloomquist is up to the plate two outs bottom of the fourth should be bases loaded but it's not and I tried to steal with slow people, and that's what I get. That was my fault. I could have gotten some runs out of that, but I didn't. So, two hits for the Dodgers, five hits for the D-backs, and a run. Henry Ramirez is back up to the plate, and see if we can get another strikeout. Maybe, maybe not. And fastball low. Top of the six with one out. That was a fastball low. Slider trying to get one over the plate. See if we can make it a strike. And, yep, strike one, one and one count. Dodgers really haven't been able to get anything going, and we're trying to find some inside edge reports to cheat out the batter a little bit, but I have to pay for them. So, I'm going to have to save up some of my money and pay for that later on. Alright, we're trying to power curve right now, and it was a bad gesture, which is pretty bad, and it was a ball on the outside because of a bad gesture. Two and one count right now. Let's see if we can make him ground out or anything. I mean, really? Alright, he called that, umpire called that a ball. Three and one count now. We're trying another slider. We're pretty much going to put it right in the center of the plate. Let's see if he can hit it or not. And no, he swings too early for it. 84 mile an hour slider. Tricked him up a little bit. And we're trying, I think this is our power curve. Yep, and he grounds out to Ryan Wheeler for the second out of the sixth inning. I'm showing this because this might be Kennedy's last inning. It's his last full inning, at least, because I don't want to make him go, like, insanely crazy for, like, the first game of the season. It's not really fair to him, so yeah. Split change just sunk right to the bottom of the plate. Here's the pitch. And, and two seam fastball went over the plate for a strike. One and one count. Put in another fastball. Let's see if we can put it either lower of the strike zone or right down the middle and make a miss. And he pops up, but Chris Young's not able to play it because I messed up with him. But Justin Upton tracks it down in right center field. So Ian Kennedy only allowed two hits. In six innings, and Jason Kubel makes an easy ground out to second. Why would I show this? Is because you'll see the next inning, Paul Goldschmidt comes out with hamstring one to two weeks. Chris Johnson has to come in, and boy, does Chris Johnson show up. Chris Johnson makes a nice diving stop at first base. Not in his position. His position, his position is third base, but he makes a nice diving stop at first. All right, so we're pulling Kennedy finally with two outs in the top of the seventh. He played a very good game, pitched a very good game. 
but we're gonna pull them because we need a new fresh of uh, new fresh set of wheels if you know what I mean and Matt Lindstrom's in the game and he pitches first strike 95 mile an hour fastball right in the bottom of the zone change up trying to put it in the bottom of the zone as well 86 if you go from 95 to 86 something just happened there something just happened and he tries to check his swing but no 94 mile an hour fastball almost close to the center of the plate why would you check your swing on that I don't know but yeah and he hits it right at the middle I thought I had him but nope he's like no sir I'm gonna get a hit right here and we're pulling Matt Lindstrom in the top of the eighth two outs nothing happened in the seventh so he decided to do go to the eighth Nothing happened in the first two outs, so we pull him and put in David Hernandez with a guy on third base. See if we can make him ground out. All right, 93 mile an hour fastball. I see you, David. I see you. Tyler Skaggs is fully warmed in the bullpen. We're going to bring him in for the ninth inning. And 95 mile an hour fastball just didn't hit the spot. So one and one count. See if we can get anything right here, make him chase. Nope, he didn't want to chase at that. Two seam fastball, 94 miles an hour on bottom left corner of the plate. And he chased out that one, though. Chris Young messing up again, but Jason Kubel's right there to run that one down for the last out of the eighth inning. So we didn't really get anything in the bottom of the eighth, so we went to the top of the ninth. 3 2 count, and David Hernandez walks in to get the first man on base. And Tony Gwynn is coming out to run for Adrian Gonzalez. So that could be pretty scary. Andre here is a pretty good hitter, and we have a fast guy on first. Let's see if we can get anything here. And Andre here watches that first pitch for a ball. Ninth, zero outs. He's going to be clutch here. And he hit a right at the middle. He's clutch. We're not clutch. And that guy's going to third, and we can't throw him out. He's safe at third base. Justin Sellers is going to run for Andre East here, and he's fast too. This could be a problem. Matt Kemp's up to the plate. I think that just said 444 average in spring training. That is crazy. Tyler Skaggs is up on the mound, and Chris Johnson almost makes a really, really nice play right there, but he couldn't come up with it. So, 12-6 curve, we're going to try here, we're going to see if we can do it. And, yeah, strike. Oh, guys, by the way, I'm going to try to make the quality better, for because it's going to be kind of bad for this, because I didn't make the quality very good on Elgato, so I'll fix that for uh, next, um, the third episode, because I already recorded the second one, so I'll do that for the third episode, but, yeah. Alright, so fastball, let's get right back to the game. Fastball right on the bottom of the plate, it's 1-2 count. See if we can get the strikeout. And no. Umpire didn't want to give us that one. Kemp got lucky though. Kemp got really lucky. Trying to put it in the bottom of the plate. And it just drifts up and goes right up to center. And it's now one to one with the guy on first and second. No out to the top of the ninth for the Dodgers. As you can see, they just scored like four runs in a row. Now their fifth run's coming in, and it's just looking horrible for us. I just let you guys listen to the music right there because it was kind of nice, right? But it was bad for me because they just scored five runs on the top of the ninth, and the comeback is looking very, very slim right now. So it's one out in the bottom of the ninth, and Chris Johnson just got on base. Let's see what Jason Kubel can do with his awesomeness of the spring training. This guy's throwing some weird submarine style stuff, but it's all good. We'll be okay. And let's see if Jason Kubel can get an 0 2 count. He fouled that one off. Let's just try to get a hit here, Jason. Come on, buddy. Just make some contact. Two seamer up, and he strikes out very early swing. He was too aggressive on that one. He just looked overpowered on those two. So, our last hope. Ryan Wheeler is up to the plate with. I forgot who's on first. How do I forget who's on first? But he. Very late swing on that fastball. He's trying to get it right up the middle. Let's try to hit it right up the middle. See what happens. 
And that could drop. Might drop, maybe. Oh, my gosh. Matt Kemp makes an insane catch. Two in the game. So, thanks, guys, for watching. Next episode will be out in tomorrow or the next day. And I really do like making these. So, it's probably my first series that I love to make. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Shane Victorino is the player of the game. Shane Victorino. It was his bat that got him the award today. One big hit. That, that can change the difference of a ball game, and that's what happened today. This hitter came up with that big clutch hit, so he's our obvious choice for player of the game. And you don't often get the bats going on the road quite like this. Pretty good offensive attack. Well, when you're on the road, to have this kind of offense, it takes the hometown crowd out of the game and really helps your chances. I guess it's that time again. We wrap up this 2K Sports broadcast of MLB. John, Steve, our entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. Adieu, adieu.